Amoco dealer Lee Perk protested when the company told him last April that the lease on this service station was being turned over to Amoco wholesaler Hornsby Oil Company. Not only would Perk be forced to deal with Hornsby in paying rent, but he would also have to buy gas from them and pay a two cent per gallon delivery charge. Perk says he could have passed on the added cost to his customers, but instead chose to take the matter to court. A lot of the other dealers, in fact all the other dealers, did opt to go along and, and pay the increase and pass that increase on to their customers. But I, I just reached a, a point with uh, the oil companies and their, their profits that enough is enough and somebody had to do something. Perk says Amoco had no right to cancel his lease since he maintains it doesn't expire until 1981. In addition to his four and a half million dollar suit charging Amoco with conspiracy to fix prices, Perk also took his complaint to the Department of Energy, but says the cooperation he got was less than satisfying. When I first uh, spoke to the Department of Energy, they more or less told me that they were going to be like the cavalry and they were going to come to my rescue and they were going to prevent Amoco and Hornsby from uh, carrying out this scheme. And uh, I guess foolishly, I relied on it. Uh, and suddenly, we had attorneys being transferred off the case. The case itself was transferred from the Philadelphia office down to the Atlanta office, got lost in Atlanta. Perk's case will reach Gloucester Circuit Court next week, November 5th. If he wins, Amoco could be forced to roll back prices. But if the opposite occurs, Perk may well find himself out of the service station business. Tony Rawls, Area 10 Eyewitness News.